Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Civil 3D Surface Creation. On today's episode, I will be focusing on creating surface from points. Now, this is the most common method that the survey normally sent data in. The only difference will normally be the file extension of um, the data. It can either be a CSV, a TXT, or any other file extension. Whatever format the survey sent, we can always copy it over into Excel and convert it into a format that can be imported into Civil 3D. So as you can see on my screen, I already have my Civil 3D um, software opened. I am just quickly going to check the data that the survey sent. So we have a CSV and also a TXT. So there are two ways in which you can import um, points into Civil 3D. The first one is for you to import the, the points directly into Civil 3D. If you go to your insert and here on, on, the, on your right hand side, on your left hand side, as you can see, there's import and then points from file. You can either import them in that way or you can come directly and create a surface and inside the surface import the points. Uh, I am quickly going to run through both methods just to show you how it's done. So if you if you import from file, it'll give you this page and you just quickly come here and you choose your CSV file. And this one shows you that it's in E and Z. It's in your easting, nothing and your elevation and it's also a comma delimited so what you do if you say add points to a point group it will ask you to give you the point group a name and you can just say ngl for example this is to help you if you get different data maybe the other one it's it's the natural ground level and then the, the survey later comes and give you an, another data maybe for culverts or manholes so as you import them, you can always just give them a name so that you don't confuse them. So we say, okay, and we say, okay. So now if it's still importing. Um, so as soon as it's done, if you come under point groups, they should appear underneath the point groups um, tab. There we go. So can you see now there's an addition there? So if you drop it down, you can see that there's one that says NGL. Everything that under this NGL is what we have just imported now. So if you go under surfaces, you right click and say create surface. Type in natural ground level, which is NGL and say OK. If you drop down um, the, the menu and come under definition, you will see that we have point groups and point files. So let me show you. If you go under point files and say add, it takes you back. So there are two ways. You, you could have easily just came in and imported them straight into your surface. But in this case, we will be um, duplicating the very same method. So now it means we have to use point groups. So if you say add, it will take you to your point groups and you just say, you click um, the NGL one, which is what we currently just imported. And you say, OK. And you can see now all um, your points are under point groups. So if you um, if you now zoom extends just to see the screen, because I've just been working without seeing what's going on. Um, if you just click zoom extends, it will take you to your surface so the reason why it's looking like this it's because of two things number one these are all the points that we've um we've imported firstly so they came and set here as points and as soon as we put them under this definition tab under this point group they came and formed the surface so what we can do we can just go under this point groups we can come under NGL and say properties and we say we don't want them to show. So you can just click none and click none. So basically what you're saying is that you don't want these points to show on your drawing. So now what we are left with, it's the surface that we have just created from the points. 
So if you say object viewer, you can be able to see your surface. And there we go. So this is what you're going to work with. And voila. So if you have a graduate, please do not um, forget to share this video with them.